You may remember Aptera Motors as the California startup that tried to market a small, fuel-efficient three-wheeler, but ended up skidding into bankruptcy back in 2011. But now the original founders are back with a new iteration of the company, and a new three-wheeler, this time powered by electricity. Despite there not being a company in North America that has been successful in mass-producing a three-wheeled street-legal commuter vehicle, the company believes its technology will attract buyers interested in a efficient, budget-friendly commuter car. Aptera Motors' launch edition will have solar panels on its body that the company claims can add 40 miles per day, along with a 400-mile driving range and a 0-60 to 60 time of just 4 seconds. Aptera Motors co-founder and co-CEO Chris Anthony says the aerodynamic shape of the vehicle and the solar panels means it doesn't need a huge battery pack to go hundreds of miles between charges. When the zombies attack, you want to own an Aptera because the fuel stations are down and your, your, your Aptera can be solar charged and you can drive off into the sunset. So I think that, you know, it's, it's one of these projects that one has, you know, a rare occasion to be involved with that can really make an impact in the world. And because Aptera Motors vehicles have a smaller battery pack than an EV, Anthony says the time spent charging will be reduced. You pull up to a supercharger station and you're, you're charging four, five, six times faster than the car next to you uh, because your vehicle is so efficient. On average, in America, people spend about $6,000 a year just on fuel for their internal combustion uh, cars. Eliminating that $6,000 a year, you're buying a $35,000 vehicle. What's that? It's like a, a six and a half year, uh, seven year payback and you own the vehicle just from the fuel cost savings. So that's just amazing. Due to the Aptera Motors' unique design, he says people are usually shocked at how substantial in size the vehicle is when they see it in person. He compares it to being as long as a Prius and as wide as the Tesla Model S, which allows it to accommodate most people's needs. You can put a couple mountain bikes back there, you can put a surfboard, you can, you know, any Costco run that you can imagine, uh, you can put back there, um, and you can actually camp in the back of the vehicle. As far as maintaining it goes, Anthony says the solar panels are meant to be replaced every 10 years, which is a process similar to switching out a windshield on a car. We are designing our solar panels to last about 10 years, but we really want the vehicle to be a generational vehicle. It's a composite vehicle. It's not going to rust away. Uh, we're a right to repair company, so we tell people how they fi can fix it, and we will send them a part to fix it within 24 hours. To date, Aptera Motors has only built a series of prototypes Still, Aptera Motors is taking pre-orders for the vehicle, which starts at about $26,000. And the 1,000-mile range is about $45,000. Aptera Motors says it hopes to start delivering the vehicle in 2024, more than a year later than originally promised. But prior to delivery, Aptera Motors cars will have to pass government safety tests and have its driving range certified by the EPA. Aptera Motors is still in the process of raising enough money to finish product development and start production, but it claims it has raised over $90 million from crowdfunding for the project. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.